at the first steps in building a Stereo Pi kit. Take a Stereo Pi board and start by installing the Raspberry Pi compute model. Install the model at an angle of about 45 degrees to the board and snap it tightly into the connector. If you perform this step correctly, the compute model maintains its position. After that, push it slightly until it clicks and you'll have a correctly installed compute model. What mistakes you can make at this step? Number one, you can install the model not at an angle, but horizontally. In this case, it can still be installed into the connector and even clicked in, but you'll see strongly protruding contacts and the model can be easily snapped out of the connector with just a slight movement. The second mistake is when you install it at a 45 degree angle, but tilt it to one side. In this case, the model can still be clicked in, but you'll see strongly protruding contacts on different heights. That's an incorrect installation. So you install the compute model correctly, and that's it for the first step. The next step is to install a microSD card. Here's the microSD slot. Insert a card into it with its upper side facing the compute model. Push it until it clicks in and bobs your uncle. That's it for the first step. The next step is connecting the cameras. The most common mistake users make is installing the camera cables wrong side up. You need to remember a simple rule. The cameras are literally in love with the GPIO connectors. Therefore, the cable's metal contacts have to face the GPIO pins. You gently pull out the black lock from the camera connector a little bit, put the cable in with its contact facing the GPIO, and then gently snap the lock back in. Here is a properly connected camera. And here is an example of an incorrectly installed camera. If you violate the rule of the cable's laugh for GPIO by turning the camera backwards, with the blue protective film facing the GPIO, you can install the camera this way, but it won't work. So here is an example of an incorrectly installed camera. So let's fix this mistake and connect it with the proper side up, that is with the contacts facing the GPIO connector. That's it, the assembly is finished and you can carry out the first tests. The last step you need to do is plug in the power cord. It has this white connector that plugs into the respective connector on the stereo pie board. If you plug it in now, the device will start working. You may have noticed that there is a micro USB connector on the stereo pie. If you've worked with regular Raspberry Pis before, you might feel compelled to power up the device for the micro USB connector. You should know that if you do that, the Stereo Pi will boot, but it will turn into a special mode for uploading Linux into compute models built in memory, the so called eMMC, if it's equipped with one. So, when connected like this, the device boot up in a special mode while also disabling the network connector and USB. Therefore, for the first boot, please use the included power cable. Let's have a look at the first boot of StereoPi with the Raspbian and OpenCV firmware. This image can be downloaded from the links in our wiki. The advantage of this image is that you can work with it like with an ordinary Raspbian image using a monitor, mouse and keyboard. Connect the monitor to the HDMI port. Then connect the mouse and keyboard. Check that the microSD is inserted correctly and isn't sticking out or something and turn the power on. Uh, the screen shows a standard Raspbian boot process and the stereo Pi starts flashing its activity LED, here it is just below the cable. A few seconds later you'll see a loaded desktop on the screen.